Hello everybody, humans, aliens, and polecats, and welcome back to City Skyline. I think we're in episode 4 now, 3, I'm actually not even that sure, but uh, we're definitely get, uh, getting a city that looks awesome um, and really nice. So let's have a quick update on what we've got so far. So last episode you may have remembered where we got the updated roads, and what this let us do was put in a bus route, only one bus route at the moment, and a taxi rank and a couple of taxi pickup points so what we're hoping this will do will alleviate a lot of the traffic and problems that we're having um, or will have in the future so as you can see here along this main road here uh, into Poitown uh, we do have a bus route and we do have a lot of cycle routes a taxi rank pickup over at uh, Old Crabbington bus route um, or the bus depot rather and the taxi depot are on this main road here so what are we going to do this episode? Well, one of the things I obviously want to work towards is getting the balance of everyone a bit sorted out and build up the city where needed and have a look at a nice new area possibly. Another thing I want to look at is making sure we have a bus route going to everywhere we, everywhere we need to go um, to make sure, again, the traffic isn't as bad as it could be. For example, this road here. This road here is the main road into Old Crappington. Now, what if there were no civilian traffic going there what if it was only commercial traffic i.e what if only the trucks that needed to go there went there that would alleviate a hell of a lot of traffic on that route and then the only civilian based or it would be commercial based because we'd only have a bus going there so there'd only be a couple of buses on that road at one time you know in the worst of scenarios but what it would allow us to do is make a nice bit of area around here where people get off and you know the buses go so let's quickly have a quick update so health we're still doing you know amazing health capacity is 200 I don't think we're doing too poorly yeah I mean health average in regards to the cemetery usage we're only on 2% and we're gonna start building up a few more fire wise fire hazard is relatively high now obviously this was this is purely because we don't have a fire department down this end and we don't have a fire department over here now if fires start to break out in old crappington yes we will upgrade it but for now i don't think we need to um, but i do intend on upgrading this area a little bit more having a few more places that people can live in and that will mean we will upgrade obviously our fire department police wise so please again crime rate is really low which is awesome uh, we haven't really got anything that increases it like uh, there's not really any places people gamble tourists those kind of things that may cause a few problems jail wise jail availability so we've got detained 14 criminals jail capacity is 20 so that might be something we may have to upgrade uh, but obviously prisons as you can see here is quite a way away now in regards to schooling we do currently have uh, elementary school students there we also can get a high school um, which I actually think what we're going to do is we're going to place it on the corner there. Now that's one of the things we didn't do last episode. That's going to mean that we have more uh, educated civilians and that should help us nicely. Okay, so what we're doing, so we're currently getting 46 people travelling on the bus. Hopefully that only goes up a bit, 5 people per taxi. You know, that's not great, but every little helps. Um, what else have we got? When do we get we get the metro at 6,500, train at 8,500, ships at 26, airport at 55. Um, what else can we do around here? What's this? Okay, let's soften terrain. We could add a few more paths, but I don't really think we need to at the moment. Um, in regards to canals, I'm not really sure how these canals work. Um, okay, get a lot of contour lining around here. Like I say, I really don't know exactly how it works. We get flood walls. If your canals have spots that are prone to flooding, you can use flood walls to control the water. Uh, keys give waterfront a nice finish. Okay, yeah. So we could look at eventually at making a canal that maybe, you know, goes across here or something like that. Um, which might make it an, like a nice awesome look. Uh, but for now, we're not going to bother with that. Let's have a look here. So taxes wise, we're only paying or we're only getting in 9% on all of them, which is not too bad. Uh, we, specialization wise, citizens, uh, uh, tourists, we only get a very small amount of tourism. I don't know where that's actually coming from. Um, I don't know what they're trying to visit. Maybe our oh, lovely, lovely towns. Uh, what we got here is so education wise, as you can see, we're paying a little bit more into education. Uh, we want people to be successful in our city. 
Um, eventually, we might upgrade uh, power-wise, as we want people to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more good with their uh, energy and more economical and environmental. So, uh, Global Credit Inc. We currently owe twenty-eight thousand uh, two hundred and sixty weeks left to pay. So let's have a look. And yeah, so one thing we were going to do, as I said was increase the city and I'm not going to increase it off the top I'm going to save that for the nice shopping district and we're just going to go ahead and drop in a little bit of a road going down there let's actually there we go so this nice commercial district is going to increase and if needed we can bring a road out here connecting to that town and we can bring a road out there and we can build more into this bit I want to try and make this area symmetrical as well there's a bin lorry coming through there Taxi rank is work shift 10%. What's the work shift over here? Uh, oh, that was I think that was for an individual taxi. 80%. Yeah, it looks like um, people over people are t using the taxis to get to what Crappington, which is good. Now water, water, water. No problem. Have some water. Power. Yeah, we're definitely getting power to the people that need it. <laughs> that sounds really Donald Trump. Um, Okay, police wise, are the police gonna catch that guy? Are they? I think they did. Nice, okay. Let's have a look at the other thing. There was one other thing we were looking at, and that was the football stadium, which is uh, 200,000. So we're a little way off. Uh, some little buggers decided to leave from there. It seems like these two li tiny little shops on the end are just. just like, why are you there? Um, you've got a tiny little shop and everyone else is, you know, being fine. Okay, so that guy's got 79%. 70. Oh, distant travel online. 21, 30. We're actually getting a pretty full bar through. Um, we got here 7, 14. You mean it's not doing that bad at the moment? Um, okay, let's have a look at buses. Let's drop in another one that's going to start at... Okay, let's, we want a new route. I don't know. Create a new line and we're going to go round to there. Okay, we're going to go round to there. There. Is it gonna let me go? We're gonna make sure that the oh, we come. Yeah, that's too long, isn't it? And then we're gonna make sure it goes round there. It's gonna be a relatively long bus route. Um. There we are. It's a proper shit bus route, isn't it? probably going to be absolutely crap. Okay, that's the blue bus route. We're going to call that a uh, modify line. Let's just give that the name of the workers route. And that's only going to be a day route, isn't it? Because obviously people aren't going to be using the bus to go to work all the time. And if it seems like it's needed, then obviously we'll dump it on a bit more. So this bus route here, this bus stop here is for the uh, inner city route. And then the one here is obviously just outside the taxi rank is for everyone else. Now, <laughs> the bus around here, everyone's having their nice amounts of problems there. This is a couple of things I don't understand, so we can pause it here. First of all, we have a six-laned roundabout, yet everyone is using the, sec the second lane. Okay? Why can't they fill up the rest of them? Uh, the other one is, they don't look like they're doing it right now. Let's see if I can find an example. We mentioned it last episode. Okay, it actually doesn't look like they're doing it. Okay. Sometimes normal drivers seem to think it's okay to drive on the bus. Oh, no, here. Why are they all driving on the bus lane? So they're all driving on the bus lane. Everyone is picking a sp specific lane to drive on, i.e. the middle lane, or the, the one to the furthest, yeah, the furthest to the middle. Uh, nearest to the middle, rather. And so it's just messing up the traffic. I, I'm going to have to have a look, see if there's an add-on or a mod. Anything like that. Uh, that might make it a bit more helpful. Uh, let's have a look. Police station. Nice. Police station's doing alright. 
the fire department's doing all right. What do we got complaints wise? Does, is anyone complaining about anything? Shit, we don't have any power over here. Uh, we need more power. Need more power, need more power. Okay, where can we go? Let's go one there. Um, should be good. Looks like we need a little bit more high demand for industry or offices. Okay, we can do that. We can sort that out. Let's not, not do it with that road. Let's go. Let's bring out a, another little bit along there. That should be good. I mean, we don't want to zone too much of it. But that should still remain in the... Where's the zone? Zone. Okay. Let's just make sure they're fully zoned into the same area. There we are. So now what should happen, as I say, is they should all build up into... Now we can go there, but we shouldn't go there. Okay, so they're going to build up into their lumber again. Let's have a quick look here and see if we're meeting our demand. So, oil-wise, uh, we're not using at all. Obviously, oils we're not using. We're using 172 units per week, and we have a total of 44,000 forest. Okay, so... Um, hectares, we have 58 hectares of um, fertile land. That could be something else that would be useful to use. So we're going to have a look at possibly, you know, not continuously upgrading old Crappington. Um, it's a nice place, but do we need to keep getting wood in? That's why we're going to have a look here. So imports. We're still importing a hell of a lot of forestry. Exporting a lot of forestry as well. And tourism, we get low wealth, medium and high wealth. We kind of get a balance. So as I say, import wise, what we want to do is we want to try and get the balance where we no longer need any import for forestry. And once our import of forestry is there, we will move on and um, we'll move on and what will then be what will they be then be able to do rather is move on to something else like supplying the food demand. Just quickly give everyone water, make sure they've got it. And make sure everyone's connected to enough power. Looks like we are, which is awesome. And um, we go down here as for some random reason, I think it may well be a good idea soon if we look at upgrading this road. In fact, I might look at it now um, before it gets too busy. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I'm going to lie. It doesn't look that bad traffic-wise because we've got, the es we got the escapers way, which is allowing people to head out. Um, what we got here? Demand for workers. Three over-educated workers. That's, that's fine. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with having over-educated workers. They're still earning their good ones. Still earning the, uh, the fair amount of money. But what it's enabling them to do is not be so much of a twat. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. What else have we got demand-wise? We've now got a big demand. <laughs> big demand. Big demand for commercial. And residential. That looks nice. <laughs> Hopefully, this should supply enough in regards to people wanting to live in the area, and we're going to be okay. And then commercial, I mean, if they really do need a demand for commercial, or, sorry, if they really do have a demand for commercial, we can sort it out. Um, we can just add more. Medium demand for commercial. Is there is that is there properly a demand? How how much more? Obviously, we need two hundred thousand for the next thing. We can only get twenty grand from there. Um, payment left twenty thousand. So we're gonna pay off that loan. Uh, so that will, that will let us obviously earn a little bit more. So we're now earning 3,000. 3,000, that is awesome. I think we've just about got enough. Yeah, we've got enough people working there now. Now, doesn't this bridge look awesome? Okay. We're currently gaining a decent amount of people as well as we go. I do think I'm going to go back on what I was saying before. 
and I am I am going to give us a extra few bits of road. Make sure we've got enough power. Every time I do a little bit of construction, it's always good to drop down the power. And I think I'm going to make sure that we fill in this gap here with a couple more houses. See, it's given me the option to put a mark of a house there. Who the hell is planning on getting out from a house there on a cliff edge? Okay. Weird people. Okay, so what we got over here in... It's, it's starting to look more like a key. <laughs> if we if we have a couple of roads going off down there, it's going to start looking like a key, this place. The commercial district, which buses are going to have no problem whatsoever travelling in. Okay, escape is way... Oh, Crappington's looking good. We've got a bit of a demand for them again. So let's have a quick look at the land usage. Is Yeah, here. We actually could put a load of farmland around here. And that might also um, give a couple of jobs in for a few more different types of people. And maybe only use a small amount. Um, but that should help us out. So guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode, we're going to try and move on again towards the football stadium. Um, we're also going to have a look at filling up this farmland here. Um, to try and alleviate some of the strain on our needs for food and uh, the, the imports if we reduce our imports then hopefully uh, we should save ourselves a lot of money so guys as always thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my name has been point bush and as always subscribe like and uh, to tell your friends about the channel and always if you've enjoyed this uh, series have a look out for any other series on my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell uh, at the bottom of the video and that will tell you when i upload so thank you so much for watching guys and the new episode sooner than you think. Thank you and bye.